today I'm gonna get ready for the day, and it's gonna be a fairly normal day, except for one small thing. For a class, there was a mere suggestion for a little experiment, and yeah. I'm gonna walk around for the day like this, and let's see how it goes. <sighs> now, the key to today, what's really gonna make things special, is that I have a pair of glasses that can actually record what I see. Check that out. On the schedule for today, I have two classes to get to, I might meet up with some friends, and I figured it would be good to walk around a bit. Not even five seconds out the door, I'm faced with my first challenge. There's someone waiting for an elevator, and instead of being normal and using it, I decided, yeah, let's just use the stairs for today. No one is ever waiting for the elevator, I swear, I'm usually always- Anyways, as I step out, honestly, I'm feeling like everyone is going to be looking at me. It's pretty uncomfortable. There were definitely some regrets. Are you kidding? Right here, you'll see what I had for breakfast. What a great meal. I made my way to class, and luckily, the crowd was working with me, so there wasn't really people going towards me, so that made it a lot easier. Finally, I get to my class. No one looks at me, and I do have a moment where I exchange eyes with the professor, but of course, I don't get a response. Honestly, I'm taking it a little personally, but that's okay. That's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. Moving on. On my way to the next class, I have the advantage that people are actually coming towards me, but ultimately, I really got like no reactions or people even looking at me. You might see one or two from the videos, but that was really it. I even stepped into a discussion session with uh, only like 20 people, and it was a small room. And although I didn't get any recordings in there, even during moments of downtime, people didn't make a single comment to me. It got to a point where I literally was frustrated from the lack of reactions. I literally went to a restroom and I actually made the mark even bigger. Although I may have started the day off wanting to avoid acknowledgement from others, it got to a point where at the end, all I wanted to do was be acknowledged. Eventually, I actually met up with a friend and despite the fact that I kind of expected a large reaction, I actually got very little. <laughs> That's it? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Mm -hmm. okay. As small as a reaction as that was, that was the biggest reaction I had gotten all day, so actually, it really did stand out to me. The two of us then walked to meet another friend, and once again, there was very little of a reaction. In fact, we even had a normal conversation without any acknowledgement of it. Once we sat down, I was lightly mocked on my actual expectations for this experiment. What? What happened to your forehead? Why is it like that? Are you doing an experiment? Are you a psych major? I was thinking, if I'm gonna go out here and do this for a whole day, I wanna get something on camera, but I think the fact that there was a lack of reactions actually tells us quite a bit. As the day went on, I think I began to realize maybe, just maybe, no one cares. And that's kind of a good thing. I mean, what did I really expect? For someone to come running to me and saying, hey, look at that thing in your forehead. What's wrong with you? I mean, I'll g I guess it's not impossible, but it was unlikely. We really are all just people walking around doing our own things. And for the most part, people really do just mind their own business. And given this, it really makes you question how often we overthink about our own self-appearance and identities within society. I mean, if you want to make sure you look good, then you should do that for your own self-confidence. But life doesn't exist as it does in the Truman Show where everyone is watching every single action that we do. This might even be one of very few contexts where you can actually say people not caring is actually a good thing. Near the end of my day, there was a point where someone walked up to me and I had probably only been walking for a solid 10 seconds and they told me, oh, the back of your backpack was open. And the craziest thing is that was the only time I was confronted for the entire day and it had nothing to do with my forehead. So I guess that changes things a bit. People do care, just not at the expense of your own identity. So. Walking away from this video, my only advice is, you do you. That's really all that matters. If you want, you could put a big ball of lipstick on your forehead and no one would even care. So, at the end of the day, I may not be the first person to say this advice, but who knows? Maybe this experiment might flip how you look at things.